Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are doing the review on the Alliance Designs Mini Slim Pickens. Now, this was modded by Knife Modders, Lindy Lou and Richie B, with an acid etched stone wash. Pretty sure they did the same thing to the handle, which does look really good. But, you know, with this type of finish, kind of like a Sabenza finish, you're going to see love marks on the titanium, but it is very, very well done. So, I also want want to thank the person who sent this to me ryan thank you for letting me check this out i've been wanting to check this knife out for a long time i hope you don't mind me mentioning your name um but yeah thank you very much um before we get into the cutting and everything let's just get right into the action but before that listen to the acoustics this thing has amazing acoustics very nice acoustics now the way this button works because it does have a button lock which on this side that little spot right there is is milled out to hold a spring because they need a spring compressed in there for the button lock so it has a spring inside there pushing this pin this way and then when you push the button, you're compressing the spring. It has a very small flipper tab that does have a good amount of jimping. Now, in order to flip it, the spring is going to act like a detent. Now, when I open it up, you can see that right there, it's pressed to, you know, it's um, pushed out. And it's becoming the lock right now. And then you see the stop pin right, right there. So you have the stop pin and then the lock you see how it opens and closes right there well when i open it all the way you see it going down into that groove now it has the same thing down in that groove where that pin is now pushed into a spot where it's locked closed now when i go like this you see how it's got a little bit of play right there that's compressing the spring so right now i'm compressing the spring in and then there's that groove which is pushing on that spring now once i overcome that and the spring breaks out or the pin that's being pushed by the spring breaks out of that groove that's when it rolls on the side of the blade right there. You see how it's rolling back and forth on the side of the blade, and then it locks open. So it could use a little bit of a stronger spring, which would help stop that, you know, if it was just a little bit stronger of a spring, but it's extremely reliable. No issues really, aside from I'd like a little bit of a stronger spring. Now you see on this one, on the Kaiser Swags, it is also a button lock and it works the exact same way, but you get very minimal spring compression. But once it breaks, breaks free, it, it flies out same thing with this except for the spring is just a little weaker now that's a lighter blade so it's easier to or not about easier but it's a lighter blade this is a more heavier blade but it's still extremely reliable even with this minimal flipper tab you can kind of push button it's more of a an in-between but it's mostly a light switch action and when you do press that button it just free fall drops. Complete free falling action on the ceramic bearings. Now I can reverse flick it extremely easy. I can actually even thumb flick it if I want to. It'd be really nice if I had a hole, but it does not. Nice and centered. And the blade is a nice deep hollow ground blade. We'll get more into that when we get into the cutting. You can see where the stop pin hits, which is actually pretty cool. Um, or it's actually not a bad area. I'm not a huge fan of stop pins that stop right below the edge, but in this case, it stops on the plunge grind. But in the future, which I'm, there is a very long time and most likely wouldn't even get this much steel removed. But, 
you see how it hits there. Now that prevents you from ever putting in a, a sharpening choil right there in the future. If say you chip the tip or if you chip the edge and you have to remove all of this steel, which would be quite a bit of steel. So it's still okay, but it does stop on the plunge grind, which the plunge grind ends about right there. So you have basically all of that life to sharpen, which is a lot of life. But, you know, I'm just not a huge fan of stop pins stopping underneath the edge, but it's still okay. And it works just fine. You have plenty of life. You know, I don't see anybody really having an issue. Anyways, so the Ergos, the Ergos are, they're good. But remember, this is the smaller one. I do get poked a little bit right here in my hand, you know, when I'm holding it. And I don't, I can't hold it back here. This is, I'm just too far away from the blade for one. And two, I do not have any control. I literally have barely any control. I feel like I'm holding on for dear life if I was going to be using it. So instead of holding it like this, I put my finger here, scoot up. Now I have a lot of control. So nice and comfortable here, like I said, but it does, you know, it's a little pokey right there, but it's not horrible. And I can position my hand to, to work good. Push cuts are going to be great. This good amount of leverage right here, this spot right here really lays nice and comfortably into your palm. Pinch grips are going to be great. Utility cuts, you can wrap your fingers right around this uh, sw swell right here and you'll have a lot of control with utility cuts and speaking about cutting um also i really like being able to get nice and close to that blade like that but cutting with it i brought it to work i did um use it quite a bit man does it cut it cuts extremely well 15 thousandths behind the edge nice deep tall hollow grind which the shelf on this to get to the thickest point isn't massive like it, it's not it's not a really thin blade stock i mean it is quite a thick blade stock but they did do it very well then you have this swedge up here which it makes the the spine thinner in that area which makes materials pass over it very very well so passing through materials it cuts very nicely it passes through really good it does have an edge probably from uh, Lindy Lou or Richie B, which is done very well. So it's extremely sharp. And yeah, you have a lot of leverage into your cuts. It's very comfortable using it and it works. Now, moving to the utility cuts, you know, you can see it is a type of blade that's going to do good with utility cuts. Nice, I'm not going to say acute, but a nice durable, strong tip that does point downward into the materials. So it acts kind of like a claw and you have this little bit of belly. So it kind of pulls the materials into it as you're, you know, pulling through. So you have a lot of control into utility cuts, a lot of leverage and and the blade shape geometry works very well for it. So utility cuts and slicing, very, very nice. Now, the clip. The clip does work really good. It is awfully tight, though. Um, getting it in and out of the pocket, it's fine. And it works. It doesn't destroy your pockets. So that to me is already a great thing. It does not destroy your pockets, but it does hang on pretty tight. So, you know, getting in and out of the pocket, uh, you, you tend to have to hold your pocket to push it in. And um, yeah, but it works fine. I mean, it's a good clip. You do have quite a bit hanging out though. And it does have T8s all the way around. Nice big hardware all the way around. I do like that. G10 backspacer that does add a little bit of grip. G10 pivot collar. In this case, it is red, just in case if you're colorblind. Um, now, let's talk about a couple bad things. And then I'll, I'll you know, do my final uh, deal on this video. <laughs> So some bad things. One bad thing, like I said, this thing pokes me in the hand. I already talked about the stop pin area. Um, like I said, the, the spring could be stronger. It's not bad though. I mean, it's a very reliable flipper. The only time you'll fail it is if you're literally attempting to fail it. 
I mean, if you're not trying to fail it, you're not going to fail this whatsoever. That being said, I wish it did have a little bit of a stronger spring. You know, maybe having this little flipper tab like this, uh, they kind of want a lighter spring, which when it's open, it falls right into this groove, which works great for your fingers. But, you know, having a stronger spring, you probably would need a bigger flipper tab. So it would change quite a bit. Um, next thing, like I said, the finish is going to be scratchy. It is going to scratch up. That could be, you know, it just depends on you on that one. And this is going to be, this is, this next thing is going to be, it either bothers you or doesn't. So the button isn't pressed into anything. It's just out. So since it, nor, a lot of buttons have like a groove for like this one, see how it has a groove. So, you, you know, you can't just push the button, you know, you have to mean to push it with this one you can like i can just put my finger over it barely touch it and it'll go so it doesn't take hardly any effort to compress that button which you know in my pockets i hold it um you know obviously you can only put it in your pocket one way but the blade is pushed against your pocket so you don't have to really worry about it popping out or anything but, you know, when you're cutting, you know, maybe your hand could maybe hit it. I mean, I never ran into that issue or anything. It's just it is wide open. So that might be a big deal to you. It might not. But it is still a thing. Now, next thing, it does a lot of it. A lot of it hangs out of your pocket. I mean, it does hang out quite a bit. The blade hangs out. So it's not that big of a deal. A lot of people don't care about that. Some people do. Um, you know, me, it, it hangs out a little bit more than I prefer. I would prefer to be just a little bit deeper. You know, I already spoke about this edge back here. I do wish it was a little bit more rounded. Um, next thing, the clip is, you know, it's pretty tight. Now you can always bend it a little bit to give it a little less tension, but the way it is, it is very tight, great, good clip, but very tight. So, but, and that's an easy fix. So I hate to complain about something that's such an easy fix. The one other bad thing is that, you know, being a button lock, it's a right and left handed knife. So I don't see why they wouldn't take advantage of putting a clip on the other side. Now, me personally, I could care less because I'm not left handed. <laughs> so I would never flip the clip, but it does, you know, it's weird that they didn't do that because it's such an ambidextrous knife that you think they would take advantage of putting a spot for a lefty on this side because it is so easy to use left-handed that, you know, it'd be, you know, using it right. If you're right or left-handed, it wouldn't matter because, you know, button locks are, you know, easy It's ambidextrous. So you'd think that they would have did that, but me personally, I could care less, but all in all, very solid. I mean, this thing is, for a button lock, rock solid. Extremely solid. So they have the lock face geometry on point. I mean, it is on point. It doesn't compress the spring, none. So I'm very happy with that. It's actually um, impressive how good the lockup is on a button lock. Sometimes you get it where the, the, the spring compresses a little bit when you try to, you know, put pressure on it. In this case, it's very, very good. So a lot of great things about this knife. It cuts very well. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's an awesome knife. Very fidgety. The acoustics are amazing. And I like it. I like it a lot. So, um, I, man, I... I I'm almost wondering, you know, how, if which one's better between the large and the small. And then I also wonder how easy it would be to, to put a new spring in there because it's just a basic spring. So I can't imagine it'd be that tough to get some memory wire and make your own spring or to just get a spring to go in there to make the detent just a little bit stronger, which, you know, I'm not talking about much stronger, just a tiny bit because it's still very good. And I honestly, 
don't even think it's a big deal at all. Um, I only say that because like, if it did bother you, you, it could be such an easy fix, I imagine. But like I said, then again, the flipper tab, you know, the detent might be too strong for that flipper tab. Um, yeah, great knife, man. Great knife. And I do think it's very awesome. And I'm happy I finally got one in hand because when I first seen it, I was in love guys. I was definitely in love with this thing when I first seen it. All in all, awesome knife. I'm happy I finally got to check one of these out. And I appreciate the person that sent it to me. Thank you for letting me check this out. Ryan, you're awesome, man. All right, guys. I love you guys. Peace.